Hi guys, welcome back. I have some very exciting news today, as you can tell. Yes, I am pregnant with baby number two and I'm just so excited. It has been such a different journey from my first pregnancy for anybody that has been here since my pregnancy with Ava. It's been super different this time. So I just wanted to film today to tell you guys how I found out, how I've been feeling, you know, what symptoms are different. And I feel like it's going to be funny to give my perspective before we find out the gender because I do feel different. As you guys know, I have a daughter, she's four years old and I was extremely sick with Ava. I am still sick. I have suffered a lot of nausea, vomiting this pregnancy, but it's different to my pregnancy with Ava. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about it and share basically the first trimester with you guys. I have some footage that I'm going to insert into this video and just give you an update on how the last 12 weeks have been with me and the baby. <laughs> I've still been working, posting, doing everything. But that's basically all I've been doing. I haven't been pushing myself too hard just for the beginning stages of a pregnancy because we all know how, you know, dangerous the first few months can be. So I've just been super safe. However, I have had outfits I have to post. So maybe like a month or so ago, I was taking outfit pictures for Instagram as I do. And I just thought it would be so funny to record this behind the scenes to show you guys. I just wanted to capture some funny moments. I'm going to insert a clip here, which I just thought would be funny to show you guys of how it's really been hiding the bump. <laughs> so just know that this is really what is going on <laughs> in every Instagram picture when really I'm sucking it in and posing for the angles. It's actually not that hard, obviously, in photos, but videos. It is like so hard and also the boobs you guys know I have tiny little boobs but they are growing you know the real ones will notice these little things so I want to tell you guys the story about how we found out we were having baby number two how it all went down so basically um, for the past maybe like two years we were talking about falling pregnant again but I kept delaying it just because during lockdown, I was just so scared about having a baby through all of that. And then we were building and moved into our house. I told Ricky that once we had finally settled into the house, I would be ready to have baby number two. And Ava is or was pretty much four years old or just about to turn four when I did fall pregnant. So it is a bit of a gap, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I rewind back to when we fell pregnant with Ava. We were a little bit younger and a lot more carefree. When we fell pregnant with Ava, we fell pregnant very quickly. We didn't have any struggles and we were very lucky. This time around, it was a little more difficult. I need to tell you guys a story about the month that we actually did receive a positive pregnancy test. So I planned to record everything. So the first month and then the second month, I think even the third month, I set up my camera taking the test so I could share, you know, the news with you guys eventually, but we kept getting negatives. It was super scary for a few months and I just really want to be careful about what I'm saying because I do not want to offend or upset anyone because I know we are the luckiest people in the world to be able to fall pregnant naturally, but it just really helped me understand what people go through that are infertile. So again, I'm super grateful that it only took three months. But the month that I finally fell pregnant, I was super impatient and I was doing the early pregnancy tests too early. So I had taken a digital test earlier than what I should and it came up not pregnant the month that I was actually pregnant. And that month I was starting to get doubtful but I still felt maybe it could have happened. And we got the negative and I didn't tell Ricky until we had to do the test two days later, which was still the earliest we could have possibly done the test. But I was so convinced I was not pregnant. And then we did a test where the line comes up and we had done a first response test, which is just the one line. And I thought I was crazy that I had seen the faintest line ever. And me and Ricky were going back and forth like, is it isn't it we were taking photos we were looking in different lighting and there was the faintest line that we just thought we were going crazy and then we did another test which i think was clear blue and then the same thing happened but it was a little more obvious 
but still it was barely there. And I remember I had woken up at like 4 or 5 in the morning because I am someone that always wakes up through the night to use the bathroom and I had woken up and Ricky was like really, you know, on alert and I took the test super early in the morning, it was still dark out and it was the digital one and we had seen the words pregnant finally and the rest is really history and now we're here so that is basically the story of how we found out i know it's not exciting from there on as you do shortly after we did the first scan so that's like the dating scan to make sure there's a heartbeat and for me that was very daunting because with my first pregnancy obviously nobody knew until i was pretty much through the first trimester however for some reason, there were so many social events and crossings where alcohol was involved and somehow the news just kept spreading super early, which is fine. It was only immediate family, but it's still super scary to have so many people know so early on. So I had had a family event right when I found out where everyone was drinking and of course I was not drinking. I am not one to ever turn down a glass of wine or a cocktail at dinner. So as soon as I am rejecting drinks, everybody knows something is up. We did do our dating scan at seven or eight weeks pregnant. And by this point we had shared the news with Ava, which I don't know is too early to tell a child, but we were just so excited. And based on our history, I think we felt everything would be okay. So we did share the news with her quite early. And the footage is super cute of her talking about her baby brother or sister. So I'm gonna show you guys the footage. Are you excited? We're going to see the baby today. Yay! So when we pick you up from school, you're going to see a little picture of the little nugget. Are you excited? Yes, and guess what? Make when you're at the hospital, we're going to meet you at the hospital. Yeah, that's in like seven months though. Because oh. we're eight weeks in out of maybe 40? Yes, maybe. Maybe it could be less. Maybe it could be less. I've got to drink a litre, so I've got one big bottle and two little bottles, and hopefully I can drink these all before my appointment. Do you think Mummy can drink all this water? Maybe. I have to. You have to? I need to have lots of water in my belly so they can see the baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, know that. I had to drink all of this water when I had you. Oh. Yeah. You look so cute. Are you excited for the baby? Yeah. <laughs> Can you blow the baby a kiss? <laughs> So Ricky just told me he needs to pee, but I told him he's not allowed to and he has to hold it in with me because I'm like probably 500 mils in and I want to absolutely die. So we just got out of the appointment. Everything's all good. It is just one baby, thank God. We were convinced it was going to be twins, Tom. Yeah. I don't know. I just felt, I don't know. Anyway, there's twins on both sides of our family. So we had like, not a fear because we would have been excited. Anyway, one baby. It's all good. It's healthy. So this is the little bubba right here for anyone that doesn't know how it works. And it's just one baby. Thank the Lord. <laughs> I feel like every step of the way I compare things to my last pregnancy and I don't know if it's because I still do not know the gender. I'm trying to see what differences there were from Ava to this baby. I, I remember being really nauseous with Ava like to the point where I couldn't eat anything and up until maybe like 14 to 18 weeks I had no good days and I felt really drained whereas this time I'm still really sick throwing up pretty much almost every day, but I do have good days and I do have my energetic days. And for anyone that followed my journey with my last pregnancy, I didn't exercise at all. I was craving really bad foods with Ava. Like all I wanted was McDonald's or pizza or just anything that was oily and just super unhealthy. I loved carbs with Ava. I feel like it was the only thing I could enjoy. Whereas this pregnancy, I absolutely hate oily foods. I can't keep carbs down. Every time I eat a burger or pasta or anything that's heavy, I throw up immediately. The type of foods that I've been craving, and I remember I used to see pregnant women crave you know, fresh foods, and I'm like, as if. 
but this pregnancy I have been living off cucumbers, tomatoes, salads. I feel like my favorite salad is literally green iceberg lettuce with vinegar and olive oil and salt, which is the most boring plain thing in the world, but it's so and funnily enough, the only carb that I really enjoy without feeling sick is rice. I don't know if it's something to do with the difference between rice and pasta or rice and bread, but rice is the only thing that I've just really been enjoying. <laughs> Another thing that I really wanted to try film before we find out tomorrow is one of the old wives tale things. I'm not going to do a big gender reveal where I have all my family and friends over. We're just going to do something at home just for Ava. I just wanted to give her this moment because we know how excited she is and she has wanted a little brother or sister for the longest time and she did really want a sister and wasn't open to the idea of a brother for a while. She does have two girl cousins and she's just so used to the girl power. But recently she has come around to the idea of a boy and she even just refers to the baby as he and keeps saying that she thinks it's a boy and I think because we put in her head that she has to love it and be happy either way and she must have understood that she doesn't get to pick these things and that she will be happy either way. Another thing that has been... I wouldn't say difficult because it hasn't been a struggle at all based off how turned off I've been by coffee. I'm not going to lie, I was so afraid to cut back on coffee because I'm someone that drinks one to two to three coffees a day. I know that one coffee a day isn't dangerous, but I went through a period where, especially when I'm busy with work, that I will drink two coffees a day, which I know isn't, you know super favored when you're pregnant and and when i first started trying to fall pregnant i cut back to only one coffee in the morning and i even went as far as having decaf coffees and i started to get the worst migraines from caffeine withdrawals and i was falling asleep at four o'clock mind you this was before i was pregnant this was only in the months leading up to trying and i thought i was gonna die cutting back on coffee Fast forward till I was about maybe five weeks pregnant, which is literally just finding out you're pregnant. I could no longer drink coffee at all. I would have one sip and push it away. I'm still not drinking coffee. I haven't had a sip of coffee in almost three months and my body has adjusted. Thank the Lord. I do get really tired. But I feel like I've adjusted and I'm back to going to sleep at a normal time. I miss coffee, however, the smell of it still makes me feel really sick. The smell of pretty much everything makes me feel sick. I'm super sensitive to smells at the moment. The smell of my own perfume makes me feel sick. Cooking, the smell of cooking makes me feel sick. I have been really into red meat. Um, however, chicken, like seafood other than tuna, I'm just not into. Give you guys a little view of my bump right now because we are about to find out the gender. It is super hard to see right now because this dress is flowy. I'm going to pull it back. Me and Ricky were saying that we would love another girl for Ava, but we would obviously be wrapped with a little boy as well. So there is absolutely no desire for a particular gender on either end for Ricky or myself. Another funny thing that I wanted to mention is that Ricky and I was so convinced that we were going to be pregnant with twins specifically this time around with Ava it never really was much of a prediction but we do have twins on both sides of the family so Ricky's siblings are twins he has a brother and sister that are twins I have cousins again boy and girl that are twins my mom has a auntie set of twins and a cousin set of twins my dad I think has a set of twins somewhere on his side there are twins on Ricky's there's twins everywhere and I just always thought since young I will have twins at some point so I really thought I may have been pregnant with twins and even going into the first scan when she had done this scan the first thing I asked was if it's one baby or two and the first thing that she said was is there twins in your family because of the way I was acting and it is only one baby but yeah, I've always felt that I will one day have twins, which is scary because I would like a third baby. But in my brain, if I am pregnant with a girl this time, I will be so happy because I really wanted to experience a girl again. Just because of how much I love being a girl mom to Ava and just really enjoying 
her whole experience as a baby and even now she's just so amazing so I do want to experience a girl just one more time but then I also need to have a little boy so or would love to have a little boy so I feel like if I do get pregnant with one I'm gonna desire the other gender again which again doesn't matter I could have three girls and I will be over the moon I could have a boy this time and a boy next time but what's so scary is if I go for a third imagine the third is twin I think I've shared everything that I possibly need to to update you guys on how this first trimester has been. I love that I can share this with you guys. I feel like 99% of what I put out is just about makeup or beauty, which in reality doesn't really consume my life as much as it seems to online. I am so about family and I feel like I need to do a better job of sharing that with you guys and capturing more of you know the other things in life so that is basically the first trimester of this pregnancy summed up i don't think there's anything else i have to share with you guys but of course i will keep you updated along the way i'm also filming this ahead of time because i have like manifested and created a specific way to announce the pregnancy for me to share it on my other platforms. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you would have already seen this video. And one of my beautiful friends is actually doing, you know, the creative side of it for me. I told her my vision and she's like, yes. My vision is being on a beach on a sunset or sunrise. However, I think it will be a sunrise because we are on the East Coast. And from what my friend was telling me, we don't experience horizons on the water in the sunset only the sunrise we'll zoom into the belly and the water and the sunrise and it'll just be absolutely beautiful i feel like i never really did much of that with my first pregnancy just based on how hard the pregnancy hit me i didn't care i just wanted to get through it i do regret it and now that ava's here and i am a little better than i was last pregnancy i did just really want to capture all of these memories if you're still here watching after how much i've been blabbering on thank you for watching and thank you for your love and being a part of this journey when i was younger i never thought in a million years that i would be doing life and growing my family online with pretty much a million people combined online across all platforms to see but thank you guys so much for being a part of this journey and i'm so excited to finally share the news with you guys and we will speak to you guys soon